Start to hit the lever, Miss Inga was slow to go, Inga was slow to go in the start is hit go, but sails off and running, announcing rain's overcoming the draw and announcing rain goes off to lead them. Princess Anelia is back in that third position, Diamond in the Sky is fourth, they are followed by Dawn Calling. Further back in the field is Ray's Diner Jet. Sales racing quite awkwardly as they move to the 1,000 metre mark and then Fortissimus Miss Minvers near the rail. They are followed by Sovereign Magic and at the back is Ingo. Announcing Rain is controlling the pace. Princess Analia the White Blaze. Near the rail is Sale. They are followed by Dawn calling the Orange Cap and Diamond in the Skies at the rail fifth. Five lengths to track down. Then comes Ray's Diner Jet along the inside Fortissimus. And then comes Sovereign Magic. Miss Minvers now getting the wake-up call and Inga's the trailer. Top of the lane announcing Rain is the leader. Sail on the inside. On the outside Princess Analia. Then comes Diamond in the Sky and Dawn Calling. Top of the lane announcing Rain still leads it. Sail is on the inside. Dawn Calling's putting in a claim. Diamond in the Sky comes out for a run. Then Miss Minver. Announcing Rain. Dawn Calling. Diamond in the Sky needs a split and Sail is down the inside. At Sail. Diamond in the Sky. Dawn Calling over the last hundred metres. Sail's the leader from Dawn Calling though. And Sail's going on. Dawn Calling's fighting right back, but Sale won it. Second place, Dawn Calling, third diamond in the sky, and race Diner Jet. Number seven, Sale. Fights on courageously, wins it by about a long head or so. The daughter of philanthropist, Dennis Dreyer. And this one for the Rupert's. She used up plenty of energy on the way to the gate. She was throwing her head around and she was on her toes right to the gate. And then she raced awkwardly. So this was a good win for Sale. And she ends up winning it by a long head to her neck. Second to number two, Dawn Calling. Diamond in the Sky runs into third. Fourth place will go to number 11, race Diner Jet. Miss Minva. Then came Fortissimus. Announcing Rain and Inga involved next. The tote favourite ends up the winner, number seven, Sale. They are followed by Sovereign Magic, and then came Princess Analia. We'll take a look at that head-on, and the winner sneaks through at the rail, and that's Sale for Dennis Dreyer, Sean Ville, announcing reins in the orange, Diamond in the Sky takes a split, and Dawn Calling has the light green colours and the orange cap, but Sale continues to go, and Sale is victorious, wins the second race. As I say, the toad favourite at 290 beats Dawn Calling. Diamond in the Sky is back in that third position. Until the running of race number three. Race three is on the turf. It's over 1,400 metres. Starts off the pick six. And, of course, there is that pick six carryover uh, going into the third race. So take note of that pick six carryover. And the pick six carryover starts off at... Uh, what is it, 300,000 Rand? The estimate is 1.9 million, and that's into this, the third race. Until then, back to the studio. The daughter of philanthropist has come through to win from the Dennis Dreyer stable, and just getting those betting wheel vouchers sorted out on the outside. Yeah, Dennis Dreyer is going to step into the offers, and the fact that she won bears testament to her courage because she was quite above herself. Yeah, she did herself no favours all the way to the start. I mean, she never walked once, jogged the whole bloody way, sweated up, I don't know why, because uh, she saddled like a dream. But Sean said, he said, when he went into the pens, I thought I had no chance. And I, my sentiments were exactly the same. Great stuff. Now, talking about chestnuts and pearls, she's got that graded form behind her. Yeah, well, just thanks to Drakenstein, to um, Kainor first and the whole team. I think it was an incredible win. Thanks, chaps. Now, getting on to Chestnuts and Pearls, how ready is she for this contest? We know she's about class. Yeah, no, listen, she, in all probability, she should just need it, but she's a good filly. She's working well. I haven't tuned up. We've got much bigger fish to fry and hoping she runs a good race. Just before you leave us, there's a betting voucher from Betting World. If you want to hand over to Dennis Dreyer, thank you very much. There's the Betting World voucher. Thanks very much to Dennis Dreyer. And thanks to Betting World for their support and sponsorship. Uh, we need chaps like you. Well done. Let's get Sean Veal into the picture. And he's ridden sail in all three of her runs to date. And just having a chat about her antics and that, it could have cost her. Yo, nearly cost her, you know. She behaved like 
God, and she's never behaved like that in, in her career, you know, so far. And uh, today I thought, going to the start, I even said to the boys at the back, I don't think this filly can win. She just behaved like an absolute, like a filly. What, and she, she, she's normally quiet, you know, and uh, I was a bit disappointed today, you know, and uh, she behaved like that and she still won, just shows how much char character she got. I always, I think highly of this filly and uh, I don't think she'll stop you. She's a very smart filly. We just have to look after her temperament now and take it slowly with her because I think she's very classy. Well done, Sean. Thanks, you know, just a big thanks to the team. I've been off for a little bit, you know, and uh, just well done to the boss, Mrs. Jaya, Stewie, Kerry, and Keegan the Miller, you know, for keeping the flag flying while I was off, and I'm grateful, you know, for all the opportunities, and just a big thanks to Drakenstein Stad, you know, for giving me an opportunity in their colours again. Super. Thank you. Well done to Sean Veal, the entire team, the Ruperts, the Drakenstein Stad. Sailors dug down deep, and at last 100 metres, she's pulled it out the fire.